A host of career possibilities exist for young people nowadays, and a number of Bahamians are planning to pursue careers in maritime studies, which seems to be among those considered a hidden gem, at least according to one local facility. Our Lloyd Allen takes a closer look. With the seventh largest ship registry in the world, the Bahamas is ripe for an academy which trains Bahamians for maritime studies. It was five years ago that the LJM Maritime Academy was first introduced to Bahamians. The facility located on the site of the old Coral World is comprised of more than $5 million in state-of-the-art equipment and technology. According to electronics and IT coordinator Gerth Ford, the academy sets the standard for 21st century training for persons interested in seabound careers. From deckhands to the engine room, this center gives students a 360-degree experience on board a ship, including several simulation rooms. This room is really the brain of the ship. It has all of the controls for not only the aspects of the engine like propulsion, but it also has controls for the bow thrusters and um, for the steering, the hydraulic steering uh, as well. The center's simulation engine room truly gives the feel of an actual ship with all the features an officer would be accustomed to. Components like the electronic chart, the radar, uh, hardware, operating controls, etc. There are several certifications offered by the Academy, including the Captain A and B boating licenses, ranging from six weeks to three years. The current student enrollment is made up of a range of students, with even a number enrolled through an urban renewal initiative. Students say the program is beneficial and is paving the way for a successful career in the maritime field. For me to be in the program, I feel like a pioneer, seeing that we are the, some of the first ones to go to sea and take the BMA exam. Especially a female, it's a great opportunity because not many people believe that females can be a part of this industry. This academy has benefited me in a lot of ways, one being the most important being discipline. It makes you push more, so you have a lot more to prove as a female. I've always had a passion for maritime because that's where I grew up on because I'm actually from Exuma. That's all I know. That's all I've been doing my whole life. Dr. Brenda made clear, president of the academy says, with graduates now working on various vessels around the globe, she encourages young people with a passion for adventure to apply. In the meantime, she says the academy continues to develop. As we move forward, we are now just um, teaching or have offerings for our cadets for just the third officers. Then we're going to look at the second officers and then the chief engineers and the master mariners. So we have a lot of work. Lloyd Allen, ZNS Network News.